Recently, I just started as a level one in GTA Online, but we're only allowed to make money by spinning a wheel to determine what I have to do. Let's see what the wheel has in store for us in this episode. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So welcome back to episode seven of season number three of Loser Luxury. And currently right now, we're trying to work towards buying the Canis Terminus as our next purchase. It's gonna come in at $1,877,000, but I'm gonna work to get 2.4 million dollars so we can actually go ahead and upgrade this vehicle as much as i possibly can but currently right now i'm sitting on 287 thousand dollars so we have a long ways to go before we can actually get our hands on the canis terminus and currently right now i am on the wheel of quick cash so how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money and it looks like we're gonna have to go out and collect g's cash all right so currently right now i'm on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to, yes, it's gonna stay here. All right, so we're gonna have to do a one attempt heist. I'm only getting one attempt to try this heist. And essentially, if I complete this heist in that first attempt, we get a 50% pay cut of whatever heist we land on. But if I fail the heist, I'm only getting $100,000. So here's the wheel of one attempt heist. We have all three acts of the doomsday heist in here. We have all three approaches for the diamond casino heist and we have the Cayo Perico heist on this wheel. So the wheel is spinning. What heist am I only gonna get one attempt to try to complete? And it looks like it's going to be the doomsday heist act number one, which uh, honestly is not looking too good for us, but you, you'll see why later on once we actually get to this. So we're doing act one of the doomsday ice in one attempt, but what else in this episode am I gonna have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do the last dose missions. So this is only gonna be a one-time wheel spin. It originally was the first dose missions. We've already completed that. And so now it's time for us to get into the last dose missions and complete all of that. So we're gonna get started with the last dose missions and then we're gonna try and complete the Doomsday Heist Act number one in one attempt. But first I'm gonna go out and try to find G's Cash. Wait, hold on, I'm driving over to G's Cash and I see a robbery on the map. I did say any like blue dot event on the map I can interact with. So, you know, just run over the robber and then pow, 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 pow. Okay, I just shot like your knee. I like, I literally shot your ACL like three times and you didn't even get, what was that? Okay, well he, he died to that impact, but that was kind of an interesting uh, flight that he took. All right, so now it's giving me like two minutes to return the cash, which I'm not gonna do, because I can get some more money. Now I know some people are probably gonna be like, oh, you can get the Good Samaritan bonus. So I can get more cash. I can get more cash this way. And a Good Samaritan bonus means like more XP, I think. There's something stupid like that. So not worth it in my opinion. All right, and there we go. We got $25,000 for getting that cash. And yeah, that's probably gonna give us even more money than G's cash, which is kind of funny. Anyways, I've made it over to G's cash location. Uh, we gotta try to find this. Now, this location is a little bit annoying for me sometimes. Don't know why. Okay, I hear it, I hear it. It's down here. Pretty sure, yep, there it is. There's the box right next to the slushy machine, I guess. But there we go. We got $17,000. And we also got more cops on us, which is fantastic. I just called Lester to lose them, but it's okay. But in that total sequence, we made $42,671, which is very nice. Uh, but now I have the cops on me, which is a little annoying. You need to stop, and you, sir, need to stop. I'm gonna take this car. I'm gonna take it over to the freak shop, and we're gonna get started with the last dose missions. All right, here we go. We are jumping into the last dose missions. This is last dose number one. This is an intervention, or is that the right? I don't even know if that's the right name for this. I don't know. Yeah, here's lab right here, just. Putting a pineapple on his head. It yeah, pretty much just cutscenes a lot of nonsense. Oh, and here goes Labrad. Labrad is being taken away by a bunch of people. And Dax is gonna save the day by, I guess, killing Labrad. But he misses, so Labrad's still alive along with those people. So now I have to go take out a bunch of kidnappers. Which this is gonna be a little bit interesting because I don't have good weapons. Oh, oh, I do have something though. I can I can use it here. Nice. I have a homing launcher. That is great. As you remember with this season of Loser to Luxury, 
I do not get to just buy any weapon. And as you remember with this season of Loser to Luxury, we're buying weapons alongside of buying ourselves like whatever we're trying to buy. So like, like when we get our hands on the Canis Terminus, we'll go ahead and purchase our next weapon, which will be the pistol point five zero and that's not a good weapon but the wheel landed on it i just get to i get to add to my pistol collection i have i have five pistols obviously you start out the game with a normal pistol then somehow i got a combat pistol and i got a double action revolver from a treasure hunt a navy revolver from a treasure hunt i got the perico pistol from doing the guy a perico ice i mean honestly out of these pistols i like the combat pistol and then i gave myself all the explosives and then we bought ourselves the homing launcher that was the first wheel spin off the wheel of weapons and then somehow we got our hands on a pump shotgun but we only have eight shots in this pump shotgun so like once all that is gone then yeah we're, we're done with the pump shotgun okay 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 a lot of people shooting at me oh i just picked oh i picked up a special carbine oh don't mind if i do yeah if these people drop like weapons i'll t i'm gonna take advantage of it yeah so pretty much this mission if you don't know it's pretty much just a ton of shooting that's it like they stole lab rat from us and then they sent like a ton of people just to come after us essentially that's what's going on so we just have to take out all the people that are trying to come take us out. That's pretty much going to be it for this mission. But as a low level, it's a little bit interesting. We're doing this on normal, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem staying alive. Yeah, picking up a special carbine was very, very helpful. But I just ran a shot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. When did all y'all get here? What the? I got surrounded so quickly. Oh, I love how Lucha is like trying to do something, but oh my God, she's like getting shot in her elbow. That's probably destroying her UCL. She might need Tommy John surgery or just a new arm. Dude, there's so many of these guys. Like if you're a high level, this is this is a breeze, but if you're a low level, this is a completely different story. I have to be so careful, especially without like good weapons either. All right, I'm starting to think I need to take out these helicopters. I'm trying to avoid it because I feel like I'm gonna die so quickly. I'm gonna go this way and then and I'm gonna take out this guy right here. I, I literally ran over here and I thought I was gonna have to take out the helicopters, but it's just not the case. That is all of them, Mr. Dax. I'll just run you over. Yeah, get bullied. <laughs> there we go, mission pass. Gosh, I always think it's so funny just running him over, but I also like I get $14,000 out of that. Well, actually, yeah, maybe I don't like that so much. But if you don't know, after every first dose and last dose mission, you're going to get a first time bonus. That's why it's only a one time wheel spin. And all of the last dose missions, as you can see in the top right, we're going to get a $100,000 first time bonus. So now it's time to get into the next last dose mission. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the next last dose mission, Unusual Suspects. So we have to essentially go to each hideout and try to find a suspect. We have to go to hideout A and hideout B. All right, so we've made it over to hideout A, and we should have to take out a bunch of people once again, so you can die. Oh my god, I can't hit a shot. Oh my god, auto aim. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. All right, and there we go. Made it to the hippie leader, and essentially, that's not the person we're going after. We're trying to find who the heck came after us in that first mission. So we're just kind of scoping things out, but it wasn't that person that we just scooped out, so we need to go to the next hideout. We made it to the next location. Same ordeal. We have to take out some more people. Okay, there we go. Everyone's been taken out. Made it to the leader. And pretty much he's saying, oh, I wasn't the one that did it. And now Dax just gave us another location to find a hippie boss. So we need to go talk to a hippie boss. All right, so yeah, once again, I have to take out even more people. So like you can go away. I thought I had good health. I don't know, usually if that happens and I'm not expecting it, I always just think it's like some BS. Like act three of the doomsday eyes when that happens, oh my God, it's, it's always just BS. That one, that one's probably my fault, but I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. All right, here's the last guy right here, or right here, that's where you are. Okay, there we go. And he's down and we have to go to the hippie boss. He's gonna put down his gun. And then yeah, he's pretty much gonna try to talk to us or whatever, I don't know. I just try to run away, but there's like a wall right here that we have to stay and I mean, Look, we're on the phone and apparently he's all the way over there by by that tree by that tree right there and dax can apparently hear that guy through the phone from right here that's crazy all right even though we couldn't really hear it because we were so far away he told us that there was some suspicious activity going on at elysian island so it's now our duty to go over to elysian island and kind of just see what's up so we've made it over to Elysian Island. We have to find where uh, the warehouse is, but there's a suspicious looking car right there. So we crash into it. Then we hack a keypad. All right, so now we need to enter the warehouse and we have to 
find some clues. Like, hmm, what do we got? What do we got over here? I and mean, we got this. We have this little billboard right here that has Dax, Lab Rat, Lucha, the Freak Shop. I'm um, an attack plan for the Freak Shop. I've never looked at this. What is this? Identity fresh meat. Avoid if possible. Well, you could at least put in a picture. I know, I know, I know. Please, please, please. It's a joke. It's a joke. I know. You're probably thinking, how are they going to put in a picture of you? I can't believe identity fresh meat avoid if possible wow wow i never actually took a look at that wow i've probably done this so many times i don't know I, i've probably done this maybe close to definitely five times at least maybe even ten this specific mission interesting never really taking a look you know let's let's actually read what's on this like little piece of paper right here subjects one and two fail to cooperate subject three to be apprehended and transferred to main facility immediately known only as lab rat real name unknown expect resistance oh okay okay so this is a little plan quite interesting interesting all right all right yeah i'm actually really learning a lot about this mission all right so here's a here's a key card right here there's nothing really to read right there but there's a key card oh shoot there's enemies coming in hold on wait when did i when did i get all the i guess i picked up all these weapons that's crazy i have some ammo in this combat pdw good okay you need to die all right, cool. Yeah, how do I have nine pistols? Did I really just pick up all these pistols or most of these pistols from the people that I killed? That's crazy. Uh, yeah, we need to take a photo of this. Our last thing we need to photograph is right here, which is just all the weaponry. All right, and there we go. That's all we need to do. All right, so we picked up the key card and now it's just time to get out of here and then we should be good to go. Okay, we're going to leave Elysian Island in style. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, I actually hit it. Land it. Oh, I actually did complete it. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Mission pass and stun jump pass. And $18,000. More like Dr. Clutch right there, if you ask me. Let's jump into the next Lastos mission. All right, so we're jumping into the third Lastos mission, which is going to be Freed Mind. So we're going to go to this pharmaceutical place that was on that key card at the end of last mission, which is going to be Freed Mind HQ. And after seeing what we just saw, things are probably going to get a little dicey, especially since they know who I am. Fresh meat, apparently, even though my name is Dr. Crush, or at the end of last mission, I, I even pulled out Dr. Clutch for a second, but they, they know who I am. They want to avoid me, even though I'm going straight to them, but they are heavily armed, which is interesting. So things are probably going to go a little south because we're in Freedmine HQ. Can I actually do this stealthy? Okay, ready, set. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I don't, if I don't have to take you out, I'm not going to take you out. Calm down. Why are you why are you screaming? Why are you no 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 duh I think I alerted everyone. Okay, there's a lot of people up here. They have a lot of good weapons too. Okay, I think that's everyone that needed to be taken out. I need to go search for clues. There's a few clues we have to go pick up. Excuse me. It's an interesting thing to do. It's like he's trying to do a push-up, but he's having issues with trying to do a push-up. Okay, you can join him too, I guess. I hope you do join him. It'd be kind of funny. Interesting. Okay, anyways, uh, here's a clipboard. That's cool. Oh, I should have looked at the clipboard. Okay, finally found the keys. It took me a while just to find these stupid keys. Okay, there we go. Keys have been acquired. Okay, no, you're not killing me. Ouch. Try to see if I can just run straight through, but no. Okay, I don't know why you spawned me all the way back up here once again. It's a little annoying. Hey, hey. Well, that guy wasn't very nice. I'm trying to jump down the stairs, but no, he just said, I have, I'm having none of it. Oh, okay. So essentially when we die, we lose all those weapons that I had earlier. Okay, that, that that's something to note. Or if we failed, not if we die, if we fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah since we failed last time, we kind of lost all those weapons, which, which is fine. I don't need all those weapons. And honestly, with how this, I'm like trying to build this series, like I don't want to keep those weapons. Okay, we've made it down to the basement. Did I just hear you scream, Lucha? Oh my gosh. I know you try to be so tough. You're a little late in defending me, Lucha. We'll have to say. Oh my God. And you didn't even take a Lucha. Were you just making out with that guy? That guy was like face to face with you. Come on, Lucha. We're doing something here. This part is so annoying with freaking Labra just laughing, dude. Okay, finally. Not that funny. Oh no. Who is this? I don't know who this is. Dr. Friedlander. Mm. 
Mm -mm. All right, so Dr. Friedlander got away from us. Unfortunately, we have to take Lucha and Lab Rat back to the freak shop. It's really good to have you back. It's so good to have you back, Lab Rat. I've missed you so much. Oh, okay. But anyways, mission pass. There we go. Got 14K that time. We have two more missions that we have to get into. All right, so we're jumping into the fourth last dose mission called Checking In. So essentially, we have to go to Rehab Clinic where Friedlander is chilling out. Now, for this mission, Dax wants us to follow him as you can see in the bottom it says follow dax to the rehab clinic well as you can see i'm not following him because you don't have to this is the biggest lie gta's ever said no no i can't i can't say that i can't say that there's probably some other lies in the game it's one of the biggest lies it's one of the biggest you don't have to i just put a waypoint down on the map and you just go there oh and the reason you're probably thinking like so why why don't you want to follow dax because Dax, even though how crazy he is, he drives so slow. It's like he's dragging a piano behind him. Like, come on, man. Drop that piano and let's get there. But no, he, did, he just wants to take his time. He's always talking about, like, doing all these drugs and whatever. But yet he wants to obey by the laws when it comes to driving. Like inconsistent anyways yeah so i'm just gonna head there without him okay so i've made it over to the rehab clinic so what i'm going to do instead of like actually taking out people is i'm gonna hit this rock let me do that and we're gonna go right here we're gonna go to this door because it initiates a cutscene. so yeah you don't have to take out those people out there you can just go straight up to this door like how i did and you get this cutscene. and yeah pretty much we're tripping out once again friedlander threw some chemical whatever on us and now we're we're, we're tripping out anyways we need we need to kill some clowns i guess it's pretty much not a whole lot like very important with this mission if you die it's okay all right so we took out the clowns what are we taking out this time ah a fish oh but it's it's my craving so here's burger man we have subscribe for taco oh yeah i can't kill subscribe for tacos because <laughs> he's, he's too overpowered <laughs> you know that's right you know what yeah just for that i'm not going after the tacos even though there's like 50 tacos right there. We'll go after Fishman, Burger Man. Well, this one subscribe for tacos. Gave us a little cameo. That's pretty cool. Wait, what is this? Steps to recovery. Okay, I wanted to know what my steps to recovery. All right, so took out all Friedlander. What are we taking out now? Oh, I can climb on this tortilla chip. Anyways, I have to kill my own ego. So essentially, I'm going to let my ego survive. And I'm going to go after... There's usually like a Dax and a Lucha that spawn and I'd much, much rather take him out. Yeah, there's a Dax. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Now it says, don't fight it, just let go. So essentially that means die and you get this. Trip, survive. Made $14,000 for just that. Interesting. Anyways, we have one more mission we have to get into, the finale for the Last Dose missions. All right, so it's the last Last Dose mission right here, BDKD. And it's this Vellum right here. Gosh, I really want to run over Lucha. I am not. I'm not going to do that. Why would I ever do that? Definitely didn't attempt to do that. And now it's time for us to go to LSIA. All right, so there's a plane taking off right here, and we need to go and pretty much get on this plane. Okay, we have to get pretty close. Let's right, start hacking it. Go. 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 Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, we're doing good with our hack. Oh, my God. Oh, my... I blame that on Lucha. I, I blame that on Lucha, dude. No, uh-uh. I can't put my finger on why. I just have a feeling, you know? Maybe uh, maybe she decided to get in the cockpit, and I don't know. I don't know what. I don't, it's Lucha. Way to ruin the mission, Lucha. Oh, I can't run her over. You're so lucky. You are so lucky, Lucha. All right, and there we go. We finally completed the hack. I'm gonna drive straight in like so and ta-da. So now we have to go ahead and take out everyone. I got a few people in here, but it's not too bad. All right, so we've made it into the cockpit and apparently Dr. Friedlander was just chilling out in a box and he jumps out the plane. And apparently we don't care about Dr. Friedlander, which still doesn't make a ton of sense to me. But now I gotta fly this plane all the way back to St. Shores Airfield. All right, so yeah, let me go ahead and try to land this cargo plane like so. So, okay, I was joking. I was joking. I was joking. Oh my god. Oh, what? Oh my god. Okay, well, okay. The thing is, if you don't know about this mission, that uh, once you get like close enough, like the game will take it over. I kind of wanted to see if I could just fly upside down and then the game will take it over, but like, can't really fly a cargo plane upside down so easily. No, I gotta do that all over again. Are you kidding me? I have to take out all these people and then fly all the way back there. And yeah, there we go. We, we landed the cargo plane this time. We didn't goof off 
this time because the Dax wants all the chemicals in this truck. But apparently the cops are going to pay us a little visit. So yeah, we have to defend Dax while he loads the truck. So there's, there's going to be a ton of shooting right here. Okay, so apparently Dax loaded up the truck. So now we can get out of here. So essentially we need to deliver the truck to the freak shop, but we need to lose the cops in the meantime, which can be a little bit annoying. We'll see how it goes. And there we go. We've made it back to the freak shop. And there we go. Mission pass. Made another $18,000 off of that. But we're also been accumulating a ton of first time bonuses. So after that last last this mission, we're now sitting on $886,000. But we also do get another award for doing the last dose missions. But uh, Dax hasn't talked to us yet about that. I kind of just chill out for a second before he lets us know what else we get. Okay, so as you can see in the top left, it says Dax has left you Dr. Friedlander's personal vehicle to collect from his seized assets at Friedmine Therapeutics. Okay, so we've made it over to this parking lot and Dr. Friedlander's car is right here. This is an Ocelot Virtue. And yeah, this car is now ours. And there we go. Yeah, we got ourselves an Ocelot Virtue. I mean, before we get the Canis Terminus, I'll probably will be driving this car around a lot. But yeah, it's a pretty nice car. And I also like that we get it for free. So pretty nice. But now it's time for us to get into our one attempt heist, which is going to be Act 1 of the Doomsday Heist. So I've joined the data breaches heist. This is going to be act number one of the doomsday heist. And we didn't run into this caveat when we did this the first time when we tried to complete the aggressive approach for the dime casino heist. But you can set your difficulty for the doomsday heist. And obviously, we're going to be doing this on hard. We're not going to try to cut corners or anything like that. No, we're doing it on hard. So yeah, let's go ahead and start this up. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in here. Currently, I have 15%. I'm going to change that. So I'm giving myself 50%, which is going to be $609,000. Okay, we'll just pan away from it. Now, the heist leader is technically going to be this account called Businesses. And this is the account I actually did starting out from level one and buying every single business in the game and actually probably in a few hours it's going to hit 1 million views on youtube which is absolutely nuts it's going to be my first video that hits 1 million views so i can't thank all of y'all enough that tuned in for that and maybe that was your first time watching me and you've stayed around since then and i appreciate every single one of you and hopefully we can hit some more million view youtube videos it's definitely the goal but anyways my goal right now is to try to complete this heist on our first attempt with terrible guns all right, so here we go. I want to lay out some rules. Essentially, if I die on this account right here, the account that I'm controlling, the loser to luxury account, the, the attempt is over, we fail. And then we have to go back into GTA Online and try to just get ourselves $100,000. Now, if the other account fails, I will give myself another attempt because I'm not going to be controlling this other account. I'm only controlling it right now just to start it up and then pretty much just to get us there. But like once we actually get into the thick of things, um, this account is pretty much just going to be stuck. On this account, we got the Polito Bay facility. But now I need to go back all the way to Sandy Shore. Well, actually, it's not that far away. But anyways, we have to go to Sandy Shore to the IA base. Okay, so there's enemies already outside. So this is where we have to start. Okay, I need to... Let's go to a more secure spot before I can actually go ahead and take out these people. Yeah, we're not even inside. I have to, like, sweat through this low-key. I mean, I don't have to. I probably... One of the only times where I can actually use a homing launcher. Kind of stupid to use a homing launcher inside. All right, all right, we're going in the IA base. We made it so far. All right, we're going down the elevator, and this is where things get really, really intense. Let me let me hide here for a second. Let me get my other account to a safe spot. I'm leaving this account right here. And then, there we go. Let's just start taking out people. I'm going to try to be patient and go one by one. Now, for the aggressive approach with the Diamond Casino Heist, it was a little bit more complicated, this, I would have to say. But kind of the same ordeal, though. No, just a little less complicated. But the Diamond Casino Heist, the aggressive approach, even though we had to take out a lot of people, our goal was to just rob the place. So different interests. Oh my God, I took half my health. I was, feel like I barely got shot. Okay, I feel, I feel like it's going well though, so far. It can end very quickly, I can tell you that. Yeah, we'll have to say, like even on my main accounts, I don't even sometimes complete this first attempt. It's kind of embarrassing. Now I'm trying to complete this first attempt with an account that's, oh my God, I can't believe we're level 30. We're almost level 31. That's 
just kind of crazy. But still, a low level. Yeah, that's huge. Someone dropped an AR, so I might use that. Take advantage of that for now. I feel like I haven't been touched a lot, but when I have been shot, I will have to say, it does take a lot of damage off of me. Not as bad as act number three, but still. Yeah, usually for this heist, I wouldn't take out like everyone, everyone, but I don't know, dude. I feel like I, I feel like I should. I don't want there to be like a scenario where a guy like sneaks up behind me. Okay, okay we're doing good. I feel like we're doing all right. Someone's shooting at me. Someone's shooting at me. I don't know where. Makes no sense. Okay, there's a guy right here. There's a guy right there. Okay, I kind of died by doing something very similar last time during that Diamond Casino heist. I'm really surprised at how well this is going. Not too much crazy is happening. Okay, try to kill me through the window. I don't think so. three people, three people. The three musketeers of ruining Dr. Crush's dreams right here. Oh my gosh, hold on. Thank you. Thank you, God. Look how bloody we are. Thank goodness for snacks. Make this thing even possible. Okay, good thing I hit the door right there. Picked up a shotgun. That's why I'm using a shotgun right now. Picked it up off the ground. Would you like to poke? Thank you. I, I had a feeling someone was there, okay. I mean, I could see it on the mini map, but all right, all right. This is like the final area that we have to take out people at, but there's like, everyone's here. Everyone is here. There, there's a ton of people. I know you see no one right here, but there's a lot of people. Like that guy, that guy. Oh, well, that's a terrible hiding spot for that guy. Nice. No, <gasps> look at my health. But we, we have just a few more people we have to take out, so. Okay, it's this, this little guy back there is pissing me off. Little sniper guy. He's kind of acting like it. Can't really move up without probably getting shot. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, this is what I wanted to do. Okay, okay, we have to pay attention a little bit. Get some snacks. Good. Good. I think this is the last guy. I think. No way. Oh, wait, there's more people. Hold on. It's not good. Missed a shot. There's one. There's two. Is that really everyone? Okay, I've made it to the war room. All right, so now I got to bring my other account to the war room. Okay, pretty much that means we're good because we have to take out more people, but we have to take them out with this turret. Okay, my other account has made it in the building. Just so you can see, I'm going to force this account to take this turret <laughs> that we're standing at right now. Yeah, just, okay, yeah, I'm sending this controller back down. We're not doing anything. And then, yeah, I'm getting in this turret. And now it's time for us to use the turret. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and then we have to take out a bunch of enemies. There's a ton of enemies out here. We just have to take them all out. Pretty much what's happening. Okay, our defenses are going down. I've never failed this part at all, but I, I don't think we will. I don't think. They're, they're trying to, like, shoot at us, but they're not shooting at us anymore. They're fleeing the place. Okay, and there we go. Here we go. And we get this final cutscene. <laughs> so we did it. We actually did it. Let's go. And there we go. Act one has been passed. I got an achievement. And feel very achieved. Anyways, we made six hundred and nine thousand dollars. Um, yeah, I, I took my time. I took my time. We'll have to say, oh, ooh, I did take out the amount of enemies I needed to take out for the elite challenge. Yeah, I, I just kind of tripled the elite challenge time. But we also get a fifty thousand dollar first time bonus for completing act number one. So we made six hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars in total. So after that heist, we're now sitting on one million five hundred and forty three thousand dollars, which is absolutely crazy when you really think about how poorly last episode went as far as us making money because last episode we barely made over two hundred thousand dollars in total and after this episode we're now over 1.5 million which is crazy very good bounce back episode for us as far as making money and hopefully by next episode we can actually go ahead and purchase the canis terminus so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't get to miss out on me going ahead and purchasing the canis terminus at some point in the the future. Make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see me play every single GTA game ever created.